Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a small shop haul! So we order from small shops all the time, but sometimes we forget to put them in hauls. So we figured we would dedicate an entire video to some of the newer stuff that we've got. So, um, of course, if you have followed along with our Vlogmas videos, you know that I normally do a video where I show all the fantasy pins that I got within that year, or like before that year. So I'm trying to not buy as many, so I figure like I would put a lot of those in this video. And stuff that we've worn that you guys have asked us where they're from, I figure we could just do it in a video so you guys would know. We should have probably wore small shop ears, but we're not. <laughs> would have made sense. But um, we haven't really bought small shop ears in a while. No. Probably like birthdays or something, but yes. we didn't do that this year. No. And we do have some clothing items, so we'll show those off first. So this shop is on Etsy. It's called Cat's Magical Patches. And I bought my sweatshirt first, and of course John wanted one. But you've probably seen this in a video. This is a sweatshirt of Louisa from Encanto. And I love that it has like that kind of sports um, design that you would see in like those old athletic sweatshirts. So you have Louisa's name and she has a donkey. And it says established in 2001 in Kanto. And I just love this blue so much. It's such a pretty color. And they did have an option where you could change the color sweatshirt but leave the design the same. But this is the one that they actually had with Louisa and I thought it went very well together. And I saw Tim's and was surprised he didn't get this one because I love her so much. She is one of my favorite new characters, and that is <laughs> the beautiful, incomparable Dolores. Yeah, and she's never on merchandise. Mm -hmm. I have like one other shirt with her, she, the t-shirt that says, I heard that. Um, but here is, it is the same style. This is the version that came in red, um, so I just had to keep it. Plus, that's her like color story. And my favorite is that you can see her, the music notes around Louisa, established in 2021, and she's listening. I love those. And these are very, very nice quality. Mm -hmm. They're soft. And they're like really good sizing. So like, I always get mine oversized. So like, that's like a true 2X. Like it's huge on me, which I love. All right, and then um, switching over, we have showed some of these in certain videos, but like, we don't remember. So we're just gonna show them again. So this, these are phone cases from Get It Creations. And like, they're the only shop that I buy my phone cases from now. Because you know I love me a phone case. So I'm gonna show the one I have on currently, which was the newest one, but like, I always change them. Mm. So they, this is the up case and I just love the designs and you have um, Carl and Russell, the balloons, you have Kevin there and then the house with the balloons with Doug on top and I like this version because it's kind of like it's all blue which goes with my iPhone which is like the blue version. And then I'm going to show the one that I was wearing up until last week. So they always put them in like a cute little package. And this one speaks to my heart because you know we love some Disney cats. So I did put this um, pop socket on. It's not related to the shop. I just thought it was cute. And I have to have a pop socket. So you have the Aristocats family, you have Figaro, Moshi, Cheshire, which I kind of hid because I don't like him, Dinah, you have um, Mittens from Bolt, Simba, Yzma, so yeah, I just thought this was, was cute. This one I don't love like the outside as much because it's like pink, which is kind of a little bit femme, and then it goes down into blue. 
So I kind of wish it was like clear on the sides, but still really cute. So yeah, I'll be like putting this one back on eventually. You have and yours. Yes, um, I have mine on, let's see. Uh, so this is my phone, and I also decided to represent Disney Cats. Part of what I love about Get It Creations, or that's hard about Get It Creations, is I do use a pop socket like Tim was saying. And so it's always like, who am I covering up? So you always want to cover up, you don't ever want to cover up someone you love, which is actually interesting because they have an Encanto one that I've thought about getting, but like the center of it I love so much because I think it's the house, um, or Casita, and so I have not yet done that because I don't know how to get around the pop socket. But anyways, here is Figaro, Yzma as a cat, Oliver, to, uh, Toulouse, Berrios, and um, Marie, but, and then this is my Pride, see Pride, uh, D&D, &D, gaming pop socket, which has nothing to do with Disney, but it combines the best of all of the things I love. They just had a sale, like, last week, and then you can't really um, sort them by phone size, so you have to go through every single one. So I was doing that, and then I had them in my cart, and then the next day I, like, went to do it, and then it was all sold out. So I was like, oh, well, whatever. So we'll be looking probably more in the future for that. I want a Halloween one during the holidays, and then I normally have a Christmas one. So. Don't you have the winter, or no, did we get a new phone since you got that winter one? The one that we took to mm -hmm. for New Year's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and then the next small shop is one that you guys have probably heard us talking about on our channel many times. We actually have a coupon code and an affiliate link, which we got a small portion of the commissions, which is awesome. So if you use code GAMEBOYS at checkout on pinkelamo.com, you get a percentage off your purchase, which is awesome. And we buy stuff all the time from them. They're like literally probably like one of our favorite websites aside from like Box Lunch nowadays. So they do have their own exclusive stuff, like they have exclusive lounge fly bags, exclusive pins. So these are their exclusive pins, and it's mystery box pins of the princesses, which you know we love. But something cool about this is, so you have all these characters, and then the chase version is a white version of the same pin with glitter on it. So you have like a bunch of the different princesses. We will be doing these in a another unboxing but we had to show those off yes so if you're not a subscriber and want to be notified of when that video comes out be sure to hit that subscribe button yeah and be sure to use our coupon code because it does work on sales as well all right and then i forgot something i should have probably showed after the phone cases so we have a pop socket and this is from storybook boutique on etsy we will link them below as well this is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. So right now I have this um, pop socket on from pop sockets because you could remove it and like I kind of like it better. But like if this was on, it would just be so big. So I'm going to eventually use this. It's super cute. It is the grape soda badge. And when you do it, it just kind of does the pop socket business and it is black but like I was not expecting this to be this big but I think for like the winter time this will be perfect because I'm in the house more and then um, the, all the things coming now are pins so um, I'll try to say what it's from if I can't figure it out I'll put it on the screen and then of course down below as well um, but this one is like super fancy so it came from, it doesn't say the name, so let me see. So you, this one I might have to look up. It but, it came, card? No. but it came in like this cool, fancy, fancy box. And like, it just says, kind of like, oh, okay. So this is from the Dapper Pins Ooh. on Instagram, and I don't know what their other site is. I will link that down below. But I just thought it would be fun to have John open up this box because he doesn't know what any of this is. Oh, 
he has a pen in his hand. Ah! Isn't that cool? How, this is huge! Isn't that massive? <laughs> so we don't know if we're gonna put that on our frozen board or like our princes. Oh my gosh! Isn't that cool? It's like him young looking into the mirror. I do! It's like RuPaul's Drag Race. It's like holding up the mirror. Kristoff, what would you say to little Kristoff? <laughs> and that's his like outfit that he wears at the end of Frozen 2. Okay, so let's just look at this for a second, right? This is my face and my head. This is ears. Look how big this pin is compared to like to an ear. Like, it's bigger than the ear. It's huge. It's almost as big as my face. And it also is really heavy. But look at little Kristoff looking at himself growing up. And he's like, you're going to be a prince someday. And then the back of this massive pin, it's called Reflections of the North. Or Reflections of the North Mountain. Um, limited edition of 65. But you'll never meet a fellow who sends who's as sensitive as and sweet. Is that a lyric? I don't know. It's, it's blanking me right now. Oh, I love that though, Tim. Good pin. Right. So I did find it. I got it on Etsy. And they, on Etsy, are called the Dapper Pins and Tees. So I actually got this on sale. It is a B grade, but it's still... It's a standard. I ordered a B grade, so maybe they just. It says, it. oh no, it's a standard. This is not a perfect pin. If you purchase a standard grade pin, you are guaranteed a pin that is 80% perfection within a given lot. So this yeah. is probably B. I think I bought this for $25 and like, look how mad. Yeah, but I don't think we need a preferred or pre sale grade. No. Like, this is beautiful. I, no. B grades are always. Different. Like, and that enamel, like, that is clean. Mm -hmm. Like, I. We see a lot of pins over the year. And like, Oh, I love Tim. This is like a, a surprise video for me because I have no idea what any of this is. The best part of Tim's like vlogmas video is that when Tim's done, like if you watch that, we'll link that above and below, like we said. But like I always watch those not knowing anything, <laughs> and then when Tim's done filming, I come in and look at like this massive haul of pins, and I'm like, I had no idea we've been like. <laughs> holding on to these. But it's also very scary for me because Tim's birthday is coming up in July. I don't know when this is posting. Uh, I don't know if this video is going before or after Tim's birthday. Probably after. This video is probably after <laughs> Tim's <laughs> birthday in July. But it's so hard to shop for Tim because sometimes I'll look at small shops, but then when we do these I get really nervous that I've accidentally already purchased something that you <laughs> that may have been sitting here. So I never know. But it's we'll so see. exciting for me. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know. <laughs> So I did get another pin from that same shop. They put the same cute little like card in there. So this is again a B grade because I don't feel like paying ten dollars extra for like a little <gasps> bit more of gloss, you know. Oh wait, this is the same designer. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Do they, right. Does he do other or do they do other pins besides Frozen? Because yeah. I would like to look at their other collections. Yeah, they do a lot. So this is a limited edition of a hundred Fantasy Park pins. Is the name of this series. So, like, I love... The ones like this are super cool because they have this different scenes in there. So you have Elsa in front of her ice palace. And then down there you have Anna searching for Elsa. And then the cute little um, guy that she makes the guard or whatever. I forget what he's called. And then you have, like, the little snogies on it. And it has, like, a bunch of glitter on this pen, which is super pretty. Marshmallow? Marshmallow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are super nice pins and like they might have even been cheaper than $25. Again, I bought them like months ago. I have no idea. I love that tip. Yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> and then um, we're doing one that I always buy from next. So this is Ash's Fantasy Pins on Etsy and Instagram. She has a website as well, but I always buy from her. She has a lot of sales, which is awesome. And in this particular one, she did have a couple of like blind bags. Oh! That like you don't know what you're gonna get. So like I don't know what some of this is. So that's a blind one. This is a blind one. And then there's like a bunch from the same series that I just love of hers. And again, she was having a gigantic <gasps> sale, so I got a bunch of them. That's really cool, Tim. That is, is that our first pin from that movie? Mm -hmm. ah! And 
that's per very timely too, considering what else is happening this year. I, I hope it comes out with merch for that movie. Although the promo photo scared me. Oh! Wait, what is this? What's in her hand? I don't know, but it's Rapunzel as a Well, I know that. Because she has her brown hair. Oh! I know this pin seller because I know that pose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the, like, uh, Cinderella ones. Yes. But I will show her backer card also. So that's Ash's fantasy pins. And they always get her super fast. So she has this series where they're all kind of like in lovey poses. So this is what we were talking about. This movie is from Enchanted with Amy Adams and Patrick Dempsey. Such a good movie. And like we don't have any pins of Giselle. So like I thought that was amazing. And then we have Wanda and Vision from WandaVision in their wedding attire and you could see like probably all of the glitter on that and then this series is super fun it's um i forget what name it's called but that's Belle in her blue dress we don't have a lot of pins of that and then rapunzel with brown hair which we don't have a lot of pins of that in her wedding dress um not sure what she's holding I'm not sure what either one of them are holding but i love these those are really cool, and from such like unique mo moments that we don't otherwise are otherwise represented. Mm -hmm. I think that's my favorite thing about fantasy pins is that like there is such a desire and like want for under like you know what I mean like yeah. not just the same. They're like, always so big. Sidekicks and books, you know like. Yeah. So we have two blind bags, so we will each open one. Do I have any idea what these are? No, I don't know what series what. Hopefully they're Disney. But they were oh, sometimes they're not Disney? Yeah. So they were having a really good sale. So <gasps> but do, ah! do you know the, what this oh, is? I didn't look. Oh, wow. That is an amazing pin as a blind. Yeah, she would have had no idea. And it's glittery. Oh, it's a double pin bag. That's, oh, that's awesome. so cool because, you know, a lot of this video has been in Kanto. If you can take a guess, we don't talk about this pin. Wow. Ah! That's really cool. Oh my gosh. Yay. So I'm going to open mine before I show. We don't talk about this pin. No, no, no. I don't know what this one is. Can you imagine if it was a Dolores? <laughs> yeah. I would die. I don't know who this is. Just holding a potato? A pear. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't, and I don't know who this girl is. No. Some of them are like fairies, or some of them are like a lot of, she does a lot of like superhero ones. So I was like, is that a, but I don't think that that, I don't know. No. That's not any superhero that I know. No, it's not Disney either. So, I mean, whatever. Hit or miss, but we got, yeah. I'm happy with the one that we got. The Bruno was, yes. those actually might have been $5. I don't, oh, nice. I don't remember. But the one we were so excited for is, look at this Bruno pin. That is amazing. And then he has the rats. I'm not sure what this is from. If anybody knows, comment down below. But this will definitely be in our live sale because... We won't keep a pin we don't know. So that is awesome. Again, very good deal. I would highly suggest checking her out. Super, super fun. I love those. All right, and then next, um, so this is from Castle Pindustries. Oh, that's a fun pun. Pin. I was trying to make a pin pun, but I couldn't. So there is a um, card. Just says Castle Industries doesn't say their website. <laughs> so um, I will link them down below. I'm not sure if they're Etsy, but I will let John show this. This is a mashup. So this is like from Game of Thrones, which we don't watch, but we love Thrones and everything castles. <gasps> Isn't that cool? I love it. So it's the Iron Throne series. Funk That's cool. Does it say? 
uh, at Etsy and Instagram Colorful Colorful Treasures. Treasures. As Tim said, uh, we don't watch Game of Thrones, although I did do Game of Thrones cosplay one time as Daenerys. Um, but here is King Triton uh, sitting on the throne. I love that they like inter it's underwater and they like put like kelp or algae in between like the throne, but there he is with his trident, sitting with his tail. Hashtag daddy though, and this is the backer card. Move it back so you can see how big it is. Oh yeah, again, this is my face, right? And like this is the size of the pen, so once again it's bigger Such than... Such a beautiful pen. Such high quality. And right. again, I think this was one of those B grades I normally get. So don't be, I, I guess my, I'm not being a pen purchaser, but like looking at the B grades, like... They're it's not diminished. It. It's no. definitely worth it. You don't need, I don't think. Yeah, because you're going to save money and... And you, a tr as my grandmother always says, a trotting horse won't notice. Yeah, that means. Like if you're walking by, like a trotting horse is walking by and looks at the pin, they won't <laughs> know if it's, it's a B grade or like an A grade. Like a trotting horse wouldn't notice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this one I purchased in March. It is from Doodle Spork, I want to say. But it's funny that they put it in Halloween wrapping paper. Doodle Spork. All right, so they have their card. So it is on Instagram at Doodles Spork Doodles. <laughs> and on Etsy, they're Doodle Spork. So I'm going to show you guys before I show Johnny, because. Uh-oh. So that is all their information. And then look at how cool this pin is. It is of Bruno and he has the rat. So again, this kind of looks similar to that one we just showed you, but I actually really like this one a lot. This um, is kind of more zoomed in so you could see his face more. I really, really like this. Oh, that's really fun. You know what I like about this one too is that you could, like, putting them next to each other, they're both facing, like, inwards. Mm. So you could do, like, a really cool, like, pin board of, like, them facing, holding the rats in. Oh, I, that is really fun, though. <laughs> oh, see, for someone we don't talk about a lot, we should have a lot of pins on mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, we want to, like, really grow our Encanto pins because we love that movie. <sighs> it is, I, I always said it was going to be really hard to top. Luca and Onward for me, but in content my Luca. I love Luca. I mean, it's not great. Machiavelli is the best part of that movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, actually, speaking, hold. Much, much, much later. Okay, so I'm back. So I saw a pin that we kind of were just talking about. So um, I think this would be classified as a small shop. So Disney Pins Blog is on Instagram. That is where we see all the new pins coming out. So that's a main source we use, as well as Ultimate Pin News, which kind of updates a little bit quicker. <laughs> but um, Disney Pins Blog has its own website where they they sell like a bunch of lounge fly stuff and pins and then they have their own exclusive pins apparently i had no idea but this is a disneypinsblog.com exclusive and uh, super excited i was not i thought we were gonna get this and then when i saw that we did i was so very happy and it was only ten dollars so like worth it but look big cat in town. Big cat in town! <laughs> Look, mm, I love a little Machiavelli sound like, mm. Aw, he's so cute. He a little grumpy note. I We just like him because he has a mustache like Tati. Um, this one's not technically a fantasy pin because this is from, I want to say Loungefly, but it is L-E of, what do we say? 300. Oh, so good. So yes, super excited. We're um, trying to rearrange our cat board. So like he's gonna go on there because we don't have that many Luca pens since they don't make them. All right, and then this one is, actually I'm gonna save this one for last because this oh. one has a lot, a lot, oh. of, a lot of stuff. All right, so this one is one that we actually got in Magic Mail a while back of Baymax and then we started stalking this Etsy seller on Etsy. Super awesome design. So this is Karen Hellion. Mm. 
So we will link them down below as well. But um, a lot of their portions go to Great Causes, which is another cool reason to buy them. I have a question. Was there only one of these there? No. Oh, okay. I was like, if there was an option, I would have been like, <laughs> why are we no. doing one? This is the only one I've seen from Encanto. They had a Dolores one, but it was only a sticker, I want to say. Oh. So like okay. this was the only pin one that I saw. So this is Louisa. She has like a bunch of them doing that pose. What's that pose from like You Can Do It? Oh, the Rosie the Riveter like. Yeah. Yeah. So I love this one of Louisa. It has a really cool purple background. And like she just got this spot on. And the backer card is super cool as well. Oh, yeah. she, so many Encanto bins now. She's the strong one. <laughs> oh, so good. And I love that it doesn't say Louisa on the pen. Yeah. Well, I mean, we know it's Louisa. Alright, this next one, I don't know if they have information, but I'm going to let Johnny show. This is from a Facebook, Instagram, Etsy shop called uh, All Amazing Creations. A-W-M-A-Z. Oh, cute. Like, aw, oh, aw, oh, that's a aw. Oh. I say aw. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Do they have other ones of these, or is I it? I want to say yes. I love how, like, my first question after seeing all these pins is, <laughs> so are there more of these? And <laughs> because Tim has been on this one forever. Oh, I feel like we have other carousel pins too. I don't know, but this is everything. There is the card. A love. A lovely stamp that says oh, amazing but it's a carousel pin and it is a beautiful glittery pin of Pegasus in a beautiful white um, I love this little detail of like the Hercules Greek Mount Olympus Empire I love his glitter tail his glitter like mohawk his beautiful wings oh. I love that color combination like that pale that, that like sea blue with like the silver mm -hmm. that's so pretty you are really increasing our horse peg or Hercules. Well, spoiler alert from the next set of pins that we're showing. I mean, Hercules is definitely having a moment this year because of the anniversary, so like, yes mm -hmm. to all of the Hercules merch. Yeah. And we don't talk about it a lot, but um, I love the Disney horses. I don't know if you do, but they are super rare. You don't see pins of them a lot. I'm waiting for Loungefly to do an all horses set since they always constantly do cats and dogs and whatever but um yeah this next seller i actually just bought it arrived today so this is from kathleen's creations so she is on instagram and i will link the website down below as well <gasps> oh i saw just saw these i did yeah, see these these ones are super fun because they do the horse series, but they also do different series. So this one is Mirabelle. Oh my gosh, we like doubled our pin, <laughs> our Encanto pin collection literally in this video alone. Right. See, this is why I love this video. I'm so happy to be a part of it. Thank you for including me, Tim. Mm -hmm. So on the horse series, it says, let your light shine. And on the Mirabelle series, it says, find your sunshine and bloom. So I have to show you these backer cards, or the um, pin backs, because they are super, super cute. I've never seen pin backs in, like that. It's really cute. These. All right, so the pin backs firstly are these cute little hearts, and they're all like different colors, which like totally holding out of these. So the first one I was talking about is the Maribel pin. And you have her kind of like cartoon stylized, which I love. And they have an entire horse series, which I love. So this one is from Tangle. This is um, Maximus. And you have little Pascal on his nose. Super cute. And then super excited to have Prince Philip's horse. And then you have like the little owl on there. And he's wearing Philip's outfit. So I just love these. I'm probably gonna get so many more of these in the future. Now that I'm thinking about it, we do have a lot of, we have compl 
completed it, air quote that, because I don't know how big these series are, but like, there's a lot of fantasy pin series that we have a lot of pins of. Like, the Prince ones, you know what I'm saying? Like, that Prince board with all of them that you got on fantasy pins. Mm -hmm. A lot of the Prince, princess cakes, some of the princess dresses, you know, like, yeah. it's really fun when you find a pin, a small shop that you love to really collect the rest of their, like, the series, because like, mm -hmm. they're great series. Yeah. Like, it's really exciting when they do that. Like, I love you know, And that. Disney and Loungefly don't always make, like, what they should, so finding them in fantasy yeah. pens. Yeah. And then when you, like, really love the series, like, mm -hmm. it's a great thing. Alright, and then we have one more package, and this one's a big purchase that I did, because they were having a huge sale oh, as well. Fun. So I purchased this back in February, and this is from Mama Whale Pins. They are on Etsy. But, like, I got some jumbo pins. They normally have, like, smaller ones that they do that, like, I've shown in the past. But, like, I'm super, super excited about some of these. <gasps> oh! Right? Oh, my goodness. This is so... Oh! There's two! Yeah, they have, like, movie moments, kind of like the Funkos. We're waiting on them to do the boat series from Tangled Still. And the backer cards are just gorgeous. Isn't that cool? It's like they made, like, Funko. Yeah, I think they made this one first because it's a little bigger. But... Yeah. Oh, these are so... Oh! Mm-hmm. Oh! Oh my gosh, I love these. <laughs> so, the first is one of our favorite... I love that we have this, like, moment in so many things. We have it as a Funko. We have it as a Jim Shore. <laughs> We now have it as a pin, but it is a great movie moment. It's one of my favorite moments in the whole scene. And as I've always said, I've always wanted this as like an animation cell. And then the next one is another boat, and this is Flynn and Rapunzel going on their boat ride. And so, again, for scale, you can see how like big. So like they're as big as like my eyes, right? And this but one's bigger. they made the Little Mermaid one bigger. Yeah. So, I don't know why, but it's fine. Because, I mean... Respectively, we do have more Little Mermaid pins, so like that will kind of fill up a board. So I, I really like mm. these ones. And then they were having some on non movie moments. Ones. I wonder how many other people are on boats. Oh my god, I didn't see any of these. Because I, I don't like to look at them because I like to be surprised in videos. <gasps> I don't know. Uh you, uh, this is the first pin I have of her in this outfit. You, and I know how much you love that. Yeah, so I'm glad because we did a series on um, Loungefly, just aerial pins, they were chibi. We didn't get this one. I'll link that video above and below. But, oh my god, I'm so excited because this is the only pin we have of her like this. So, like, I don't have to look for that other one now. That's really cute. And you have Prince Eric. And then we have the Flynn one, kind of similar to the bow. Oh! Then you have Aurora. Hers is pretty. Oh! Lady oh. Domain. Oh! King Triton and Gaston. Tim, well done. Right? And like, they were having such good sales on these. And these are really cool size wise. And they kind of like almost go with. The chibi lounge fly ones, like they look a little similar, so like having them next to them would look really cool. Oh, um, like these are gorgeous. That hair though. Oh, Tim, these are so pretty. Mm -hmm. Good pin shopping. Duh. All right, so I'm gonna show these one by one. So first we have King Triton. Very, very cool. I love her backer cards too. So again, Mama Whale Pins is linked there. And then of course I had to do my favorite girl in her Briar Rose outfit because we don't have a lot of pins actually in her Briar Rose. But look at how like full her hair is. And my favorite female villain I had to pick up, you have Lady Tremaine. And she looks amazing. She's holding the key in her hand. This is one of my favorites. They had Lady um, Mother Gothel, but I didn't get her. I should have. I'm regretting it now. So now, um, next is Gaston. 
Again, we don't have a lot of pins of him either, so this is a super cool add-on. We love some Flynn Rider. He's definitely one of our top three princes. And he's holding the lantern. And then they had a two-pack of Eric and Ariel, which I love Eric in that form. And then Ariel just looks amazing with her hair like that. And like I was saying, it's my first pin in the sale um, dress that she makes. Oh my gosh, super excited. I'm going to look for more of these because I love the size. Yeah. And just like, you could kind of almost do like a storybook and like have them like playing with each other or whatever. It's, it's fun. <laughs> I like these because they're like chibi pins, but they're also like Funkos mixed with like, they're, they're really like almost like a little bit of a uh, precious moments. Like they're cute. Yeah, and they're not like super tiny like some of them. They're like actual. But like, they're not like so big. Full body, which is nice. Cute. So yeah, that is it. There is more um, in our <laughs> little bins, but we'll save those for future videos. But you're going to have to let us know what your favorite pin we show today. And if there's any small shots you think we would enjoy, please spread the love in the comments down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Yes, and if you're not a subscriber and enjoy Disney pin game, pop culture, and lifestyle related content, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified of our future videos. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining us, laughing with us today, and we can't wait to see you in our next video. Take care and be well. Bye. Bye.